In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the concept of Java interfaces. So what is an interface in Java? It looks like a class. So when you look at an interface or when we create an interface within our program, it is similar to creating a class, but in essence, it's not really a class. An interface can have methods and variables just like the class, but the methods declared in inheritance, but the methods declared in the interface are by default abstract, which means that only method signature and no body. So that's the first basic difference between Java interfaces and the class. The second aspect that differentiates is the fact that the variables declared in an interface are public, static, and final by default. And we'll take a look at each of these points in detail. So importantly, as I mentioned earlier, interfaces are used for abstraction. Since methods, for example, in interfaces do not have body, they have to be implemented by a class before you can really access them. The class that implements this interface must implement all of the methods of that interface. Also, Java programming language doesn't really support multiple inheritance using interfaces, so you got to keep that in mind. And the way to overcome is the fact that we can achieve this as a class can implement more than one interfaces. So if you were to use a class you can use multiple interfaces but if you were to use or declare an interface we know that the java programming language does not support multiple inheritance using interfaces so just keep that in mind so now that we have a basic conceptual understanding of a java interface and how it differentiates with the java class let me next demonstrate by using the eclipse editor so once I'm in the Java Eclipse editor, let me go ahead and demonstrate by creating a Java interface. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on Java introduction folder, choose new and click on class. And I'm going to call this my interface. So it's easier to distinguish. So click finish and this creates a public class called my interface. Well, since not well, since, not, since we're not creating any public classes at this point, let me go ahead and just get rid of this and we'll start afresh. So we start off by saying interface and then my interface. And once we do that, we open our curly braces, for example, and then we use the public void. And then here you can use a method for example so I'm just gonna first write method so we can actually see and understand the concept a little further so with a set of parentheses and of course our semicolon and likewise I can also declare and use other methods so I can use something like public void and here I can say method 2 and so on so I can use method 1 2 and any number of methods within this interface so once I've started off with the interface called my interface next I can specify the class and this could be any class so for example it could be ABC or XYZ just a name and this would implement or implements my interface right and let me open our curly braces one more time and of course we specify the public void and then whichever method I like to relate this to, so I'm going to say method one, for example, and then open our curly braces. And here I can specify the system dot out dot print in, and I can say something like, just for our records, implementation of method one would go here. Close it with a semicolon, and of course our curly braces as well. Next, similarly, I can use the public void and use the method two for example open the curly braces and do the same thing I can do a printout here system dot out dot print in and this would be implementation of method two right so 
you follow the concept as we go along, right? Great. So once we're done with this, let's go ahead and declare our public static void. And then, of course, our string argument. Open the curly braces one more time. And I can use the my interface. Set an object equals new. And then use the x, y, z that I used earlier. And, of course, a semicolon. Open the curly braces. Or before I do this, let's go ahead and do the object.method. Because we use one of these methods, right? So I can use either method one, for example, with a set of parentheses and semicolon. Great. So this is how a class implements an interface. It has to provide a body. It has to provide a body of all the methods that are declared in the interface. And also note that the class really implements the interface here. But the interface extends another interface, right? So you can have multiple interfaces. So let me go ahead and quickly fix the couple of syntax here. For example, the print in. And this would be an equal, for example. And of course, get rid of the zero. I don't know where that came from. Because what we would like here is that method one would implement the interface and then method two would also implement the interface. Okay. So let's correct the syntax here. It's the capital I. So my interface. And of course, fix the part on top. So Java recognizes that this is the correct interface and is going to create the interface for the implement. Of course, fix the spelling here is implements. And that's just a little bit of mistakes, right? So make sure your spellings are correct and then you're using the correct syntax, right? So once that's fixed, let me fix the capital I here. I'm just using the lowercase, right? So Java doesn't really recognize that the lowercase interface is used. Same thing with the public static void. Get rid of the string argument here. So just a string argument. And just rename the class here called XYZ. Great. So once we have corrected our syntax errors and minor mistakes, let me run through the interface one more time. So we created the interface. And notice the good thing about the Eclipse editor, for example, is that it tells you whether the implements my interface dot method one, and it also tells you the implements my interface dot method. Two. So since we have multiple implements, you, the editor itself identifies for you as well. But even if you don't look at these arrows that are pointing upwards, just by looking at the code will tell you that you're using multiple implements. So once again, this is how a class implements an interface. So let me do another example, maybe another concrete example so you would actually see the interface in action. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and simply create a new class. So choose new, click on class. And I'm going to call this, for example, the printable interface, right? So just use printable and then click finish. And I'm going to start afresh. I'm going to start with the interface called printable. Open the curly braces and use the void and then print with a semicolon. So once I have the interface, let me go ahead and create a class called, let's say, A6, for example. And this would implement the printable, right? So implements printable, the curly braces, specify the public void. And I'm just creating a simple example, right? So you would actually see with an actual example. So use the print parentheses and then curly braces and just do a printout, right? So system.out.print and just output any text. So let's say hello Java and then close the curly braces. Okay. So here's the class A6 that would implement the printable. I can also create something like public static void main and then of course use our string with the command line argument set of brackets open the curly braces 
and here I can specify the H6 object for example and this would equal the new A6 with a set of parentheses and a semicolon right and of course I can tie this up with object.print with a set of parentheses and a semicolon perfect so a very simple example of Java interface and of course if I were to run this printable.java I will just simply click on the run option and the output would be hello.java and another way you can run the Java application is by simply clicking right on the default package for example and then choose run as and then select Java application once you click on this the select Java application dialog box appears and it gives you various classes so you can take a look at whichever one you wish to execute so here since we have the class a6 we simply select this click OK and we will get the result called hello Java so a couple of ways you can go about executing your Java applications so we created the interface called printable created the class and simply output hello Java so this way we can create various interfaces in Java so in this particular example the printable interface have only one method right and its implementation is provided in the a class so importantly just keep this in mind that the interface is different from a class in several ways so for example you cannot instantiate an interface an interface does not contain any constructors all of the methods in an interface are abstract an interface cannot contain instance fields the only fields that can appear for example in the interface must be declared bo both static and final an interface is not extended by a class as I mentioned earlier it is in fact implemented by a class and of course an interface can only extend multiple interfaces so few words on the difference between a class and the Java interface so I hope this helps practice using this running your own programs building your own interfaces just start off with simple code so it's easier for you to understand and do it multiple times so practice would make perfect so I hope this helps let's move to the next lesson